Hi there guys and girls, it's been a while but uh, I'm back to do another video. Um, this video, a uh, few things uh, that I want to address in this video. The main, uh, the main video here is going to be about uh, Combat Encyclopedia, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. I just want to uh, address a few other things. Um, so, uh, a few updates. Uh, recently I went to a, a YouTube thing in Melbourne, which was awesome. Um, this is the first time they've done, as far as I know, something like that in Melbourne. Got myself a YouTube t-shirt and a, a virtual reality Google Cardboard, it's called. Um, and it was like, you know, I was there with a whole lot of other YouTubers and um, we got, uh, they gave us some tips on improving our channels, which is awesome. Got a few, th uh, few notes here. Um, so that's something that's cool. So I'm going to try and apply uh, the stuff that I learned at this seminar, seminar, it's called Content Lab, um, to this channel. I'm going to try and get this channel uh, uh, running more smoothly, I guess you'd say, you know. Uh, it's been hard with work and um, <clears throat> the release schedule of videos. Um, sometimes you just get home and you're tired and, and um, you know, it's been hard for me to do videos. Uh, that's the other update I've got. Uh, I was made redundant at my job, so I'm now jobless again, which is good for you guys because I'll have more time to do videos. Bad for me though because, you know, I need money. So I'm going to have to get back out there and try and find another job. Uh, so yeah, um, those are those two things that I wanted to address. <laughs> I just wanted to get them out of the way, you know, before, you know, rumors start flying around and things like that. But, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to um, let you guys know. Um, I am working on the Mortal Kombat X review. Um, <clears throat> I basically, I'm, I don't want to rush into it. I don't want to just sit here and talk, 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 and then go, oh, I forgot about this, oh, I forgot about that. So I'm just taking my time. I've, I've written down a lot of notes, uh, things I want to talk about in the review. Um, and the main thing is that now I've got to capture footage, capturing footage, and I've got to capture some footage from uh, MK9, a bit of a comparison, a bit of talk a bit about the generational jump between the two games and things like that. And so it's just capturing footage and getting it all together. So I am working on this. Uh, I don't have a date for it, you know, but I, I reckon within two weeks or something it'll be up. Um, but yeah, so those are those updates. Now that they're out the way, I want to talk about Combat Encyclopedia, which is a project uh, that's been floating around Twitter uh, a long time. Uh, well, not just Twitter, it's, it's been out there. I just see all the updates on Twitter all the time. Um, from uh, from these guys and basically they've wanted to release <coughs> excuse me sorry if my voice is a bit funny I'm still kind of recovering from a cold <coughs> excuse me so these guys have wanted to get this uh, combat encyclopedia out for a long time because Mortal Kombat's never had one and I agree you know it's something that uh, Mortal Kombat's lacking same with Soundtracks, you know, they did some soundtracks early on and they stopped, you know, and you see other games always have soundtracks Mortal Kombat doesn't and the thing is with this last Mortal Kombat The collector's edition extras were really piss poor, you know, only France got like a, a supplementary guide You know um, here we got the statue and that and the statues cool don't get me wrong But it's nice to have those other things. It's nice to have art books or information books or CDs and fans actually want this stuff and request it a lot. And this guy's gone to the trouble to actually mock up a book and he's shown it, uh, shown a lot of the pages and I'm gonna be showing them throughout this video. You'll see them pop up on the screen from now on. Um, you know, uh, he's mocked up the history of these characters and where they're from and, and you know, artwork pictures and you know, how they looked in, you know, MK1 or MK2 or MK3. And this is a book that everyone wants to see get made. But the trouble is convincing a big company like Warner Brothers to do it. So, you know, he's 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 talked to people on the team. He's talked to NetherRealm Studios. He's talked to Prima. Prima are interested in it. You know, and Warner Brothers do have interest in it. But I don't know. There's some sort of problem <clears throat> with getting the guide made. So he's asked me to do a video, which I'm quite happy to do, and let you guys know about it because you guys might not even know about this thing. And um, basically, what he's asking for is that you follow him on Twitter. And I'm going to put up all the Twitters and all the links in the description and on screen. Uh, follow him on Twitter. Tweet to Ed Boon. 
tweet to NetherRealm and tweet to Warner Brothers that you want to see this thing made. Let them know. Tell you know, be be respectful. Just say, I saw this thing and I really think you guys should make it. Or I when's this thing come out? Act real excited, like you know, so they can't you kind of push them into push them into making it. You know, because like he's done a fantastic job with these mock-ups. You know, with these these pages. You know, it looks amazing. You know, and this is a book I'd love to have. I know a lot of people that, who uh, aren't into Mortal Kombat. You know, like my one of my best friends, uh, for example, we always talk films. I, I watch all my movies with my best friend. And <clears throat> we always talk, he knows I love Mortal Kombat. We've had the Mortal Kombat discussion. He didn't like it because he thought it should have had the violence. You know, and um, I explained to him a lot of things that, <clears throat> excuse me, about the characters. Like uh, the reason why Scorpion and Sub-Zero have teamed up. I told him it's because, you know, Shang Tsung's kind of, um, he's, he's asked Sub-Zero to help him or, you know, help him win the tournament and Scorpion can't let someone else kill Sub-Zero because he has to do it. Otherwise he'll be cursed forever, you know? And he's like, those things are really cool, but they're not in the movie, you know? So I know all this information about Mortal Kombat, but ca a lot of casual people don't. He doesn't know all the story stuff. He likes to just play the game. So this could be a good book for a casual fan who wants to get into the game or wants to learn a bit more about the games you know without going back and playing all the way through them all the way through them most you know we're up to 10 games now and a few side ones this could be a really good book to get more people into the game so i don't know what the problem is but uh it really should be rectified you know because mortal kombat needs things like this it needs a coffee table book you know, I even made... I wish I could had it here to show you guys. Uh, it wasn't exactly a book. Um, when I did my first Outworld tours, I had like a small little kind of... I wouldn't even say party. It was like a whole lot of people who worked on it. We had like a, a screening at my house, my old place I was renting at. And we, I had food and I ordered pizzas and stuff. But um, I put together a little book that I passed around because most of the people there who worked on it didn't know anything about the games and that. I didn't have time to whip together or anything, but what it was was it was just a book of all the all the covers. All the all the cover arts of Mortal Kombat. And just just to show people, just a talking point. This was the first game, you know, had the arcade flyer, this is the second flyer, this is the third flyer, this is the ultimate flyer, this is the flyer for MK4, and then you know it was like Deadly Alliance, Deception Army, and all the different covers, all the collectors of different edition covers, you know, all in one binded book, you know. Um, train happens every video. Doesn't matter what fucking time do it. Anyway, um, yeah. So that was a good little um thing to have. You know, it was a good talking point, good conversation starter. And a book like a uh, combat encyclopedia would be would be a really good thing. You know, so I'd really like to see this get made. And I hope you guys um sign the petition and uh follow combat encyclopedia on Twitter. And uh, tweet to Boone, NetherRealm, and Warner Brothers, and let them know you want it. You know, let them know that you want it, because that's the only way we're going to get it. You know, this guy's obviously done most of the legwork. Most of the stuff's made. You you can see the quality of the pages here. This is something that everyone sees they like. You know, I haven't seen anyone going, "Oh, that's crap." You know, because it's not. You know, so I don't see what the problem is. I mean, maybe it has to go through some big checking thing and you know these big companies don't want to do it they just want to work on what they're doing and stuff so it's a bit tricky but um i'm hoping that that this thing can get made and get out the door because it would look great right here on my coffee table next to my doom diorama <laughs> so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys soon for the mkx review peace out